Hey, Chris, hope, 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 hope you're doing well. Um, I asked Trent about this after the Florida State game, and I asked Coach Darn about it on Monday. If, if you and Trent are like the biggest mismatches in the ACC when it comes up against going against linebackers, I know we've talked a lot about both of you guys switching from previous positions to tight end, but what kind of gives you that advantage when you have a linebacker on you in, in pass coverage? Uh, I said definitely speed. Speed is one big advantage um, that me and Trent both have. Um, I think that and then our just our route running ability. I don't think linebackers can just keep up with us with our speed, but also just when it comes to making fast breaking moves and stuff, I think that's one way we separate uh, ourselves from, you know, linebacker safeties. Yes, sir. So I imagine pre-snap. I mean, you know it's a pass play. You can you can probably tell a linebacker's gonna be covering you. Your eyes probably light up. You're like, oh, this is this is barbecue <laughs> chicken right here. This is easy money. Is that what's going through your your mind when you see like the coverage in front of you? Uh, yes. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes it's uh, sometimes the coverage is hard to read. But um, you know, when we do have those moments, uh, and you know, I could say for Trent too, our eyes are definitely definitely get big and bright, and uh, we get excited to get the ball. So, yes, sir. Todd Gibson. Yeah, Christopher, given their um, their offense and how high powered they are, do you guys feel a little extra pressure maybe this week? Not pressure, but a little extra sense of urgency for you guys to be as sharp as possible, knowing that this could be a pretty high scoring of air? Um, I think every week we just come in really focusing on us. Um, you know, Wake does have a really good offense. They're a really good team. And um, you know, we don't we don't overlook that or anything, but you know, I think it's more if we focus on us and stand sharp in our details, then you know that will be the difference between us winning the game and losing the game. Cause I feel like if we tend to focus on the opposite team more, then you know, we're just gonna get in our heads and um it's not gonna be a good outcome for us. Okay, honestly, their defense is giving up a lot of points. Are you guys licking your chops to go against these guys on Saturday? No, <laughs> I mean, it's give, just, give, it's us just billboard, game. give us some billboard stuff here. <laughs> it's just another game and another team. Uh, it's just the next next team we got to play. So I think we're just we're just ready to go out firing on an, an all cylinders of the offense in the run and pass game. Alex Sawyer. Yeah, Chris, Devin's been spreading the ball around to a bunch of different guys. I think Coach Doran the other day said that his favorite receiver is the open one. Just for you guys, what does that do for you in the tight end room, for the wide receivers, to know that he's going to find that open guy, that he doesn't care who it is, that he's going to spread the ball around? Um, start off, I, I don't think there's another – there's a better quarterback than Devin Leary in the country. Um, you know, he's, he is really – he's amazing at finding the open man. You know, he just – he gets his job done, you know, us as tight ends. And I can say the same thing for the receivers. You know, we, you know, we never have a worry. We never have a doubt with Devin. Like he just goes out there and delivers and, you know, we all trust in him and with his trust, uh, you know, he allows us to make plays. And, you know, if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't be making the plays that we make in the games. Jonas. Yeah, I just had a follow up from my earlier uh, series of questions. Uh, Coach said for you, it seemed like, you know, you came in as a receiver, um, you hadn't played snaps from receiver, you played special teams some. So sw a switch seemed like it was easy for you because it was a way to get on the field. Did it take a lot of convincing? And I guess now that you, you, you're you catching touchdown passes and you're in the offense, you're probably happy with, with the switch. Yes, sir. Um, it really didn't take a lot of convincing at all. Um, Maybe in my my earlier years, you know, I was kind of getting my freshman and sophomore year. I was getting more like guys just messing around with me because I was like, I was a bigger receiver. They were like, "Oh yeah, you're gonna, you know, you're gonna move the tight end." You know, I, I honestly I wasn't happy with that like at first, but you know now <laughs> now going into the season, uh, you know, before this season start, uh, started, you know, in the off season after the bowl game last year, Coach Doran called me up. Um, Asked me when you know how I felt, and you know, it was just a, it was a really easy decision because I just want to. Not only it was a chance for me to get on the field in a you know better setting for myself, but also just anything I can do to help the team. That's all that matters to me, and you know, all we care about is those W's around here. So, <laughs> how'd you manage to put on extra weight to be a tight end, but keep those receiver 
that speed and those skills at that position? Um, I think really, I, I just don't think my body was in the right position. It was, uh, my first two years here at state. And so, um, the off season after the Kentucky game, I really focused on, you know, my flexibility and stuff, but also may, like being able to gain more weight to be a tight end. And so that really helped me. I was easy. I was pretty much, I was easily able to put on weight. It wasn't hard, especially with Coach Thunder's program, but, um, also just you know I would also just work on the receiving receiving drills and stuff instead of instead of mainly focusing on tight end because you know I want to incorporate both of those you know receiver skills and tight end skills into my game and so that's just that was just my primary focus it's funny you said that because I was about to ask you it says tight end on the depth chart but in your mind you probably think I'm still a receiver <laughs> yes sir most of the time uh when I put my hand in the dirt, I'm definitely thinking more tight end. But um, when I'm flexed out wide, I just love, I just love just um, just the thought of being a receiver and stuff. And I there's just really no carryover. There's not much difference besides more blocking and being more physical. But you know that's that's the fun part. That's the fun part about playing tight end is able to bash your head in the thing. <laughs> Todd. Yep, that was my question. The physical part, it was that the hardest change from, from receiver to tight end was the fact that, uh, like you said, you, you have to bash heads now. Yes, sir. Yeah, it was uh, it was definitely a big change. You know, I was I really wasn't a, in a physical position my whole life playing football. And so um, this year definitely changed that. But I knew if I wasn't if I wasn't going to be physical, then I wouldn't be able to, you know, help the team or you know even let alone get on the field so that was really like my my separation from getting on the field and I is you know my physicality do you, do you feel like you're going to put more weight on too I mean you're somewhat young you can still put on more, more more weight is there kind of a goal for how much you you want to weigh is there is there a, like a like a like a weight that you want to target yes sir I want to be uh, about 245 I think that would be a good way for me just so I can maintain my speed and, you know, athletic ability out, like flex out wide, not only in the box. Uh, go ahead, Jonas. Okay. So in reference to Devin Leary, Tanner said he was a, an artist. Uh, Pitts said he was, he was a magician. What, what's one word? I think it was Pitts. What's one word you would use to describe a uh, quarterback Devin Leary? Oh man. Uh, Stellar. I think I think Devin Leary stellar. I, I that just popped into my mind randomly. I don't know why, but I <laughs> I just think he's just uh, you know a lot of a lot of quarterbacks in the country can't do what he does in terms of passing. And you know I think I think he's changing the game around here. I think he's changing the game around North Carolina. Um, you know he's definitely bringing back um, you know old NC State ties with Russell Wilson and uh, Phillip Rivers with what he's been doing on the field. It's been, you know, it's been so awesome to just even be able to experience that and, you know, let alone have a quarterback of his caliber just able to get the ball out to us. And it's just, it's, it's special. He's a special dude. And go ahead, Todd. Yeah, yesterday you found out and he found out that he wasn't one of the 20 quarterbacks for the O'Brien Award. I, I'm sure as a team, you guys, heard that and how did you react to that and, and maybe how did he how was he at practice yesterday knowing that that he wasn't one of those 20 quarterbacks when he should have been yeah um yeah I, I I saw the news on Twitter and um you know I don't really think that uh you know I don't think I don't I don't know how much Devin knew about it or anything like that but you know that's something that you know nothing like that's gonna phase Devin you know Devin's not phased by anything you know he's um He's more confident in his play and he lets his play do the talking. But um, yeah, I just, I saw the list and, you know, I thought it, it just kind of shocked me. I was, uh, thought it was ridiculous that he was on the list. But, you know, at the end of the day, you know, he's our quarterback and we know what he can do. And, you know, he's, he's going to shock the country. That's, that's all we know.